You know when you're first learning something, especially when it's a complex skill like trading, it's so easy to get demoralized and feel demotivated by looking at your progress and comparing it to people that have already made it. So with trading, when new traders start looking at really successful traders, these iconic figures that seem to know everything, they kind of think to themselves, well, they must have been born with that ability. There's no way that I can achieve what they've achieved. But that's obviously not the case because everyone has to start somewhere. So to kick off this brand new week where I hope that you're going to be making tons of great progress with your trading, I just wanted to give you a bit of a boost with a little motivational clip. This one is of Paul Tudor Jones in an interview at Goldman Sachs talking about how he got started in his trading career. Well, it, it's funny, I got to be a trader uh, probably because when I was really, really young, I was a game fanatic. I played every single game that there was, Monopoly, Life, Parcheesi, uh, poker. I used to play hours of solitaire. I just loved playing games. I had, by the time I uh, graduated from college, I already had probably at least a master's in probabilistic theory. And so uh, when I was in college, I, I had no idea what I wanted to do other than drink beer, and that I was extraordinarily good at. Um, I think it was February of my senior year, uh, the guy that I inherited the book from said to me, oh man, um, you got to try this soybean futures. Uh, I'm back and we're hedging up. They had a huge plantation at the time in Arkansas. We're hedging up our soybean crop, and this, this just makes, this makes football gambling just pale in comparison. And then literally that weekend, I read a story on a guy named Richard Dennis, who was the biggest local uh, at the Board of Trade, and then he used to say that he did his best trading when he was hung over because there was no emotion. And I thought, hmm, this is starting to get close to what I'm culturally pretty good at. Uh, and I started out working as a broker, and back then it was great because uh, 21 years old, they come in, you take the Series 7, it literally took two weeks to study and pass it, and then they hand you, uh, back then they handed you, at least in the, in, in the commodity division E.F. Hutton, this uh, gave me a book on technical analysis, technical analysis of stock trends by McGee and Edwards. Yep. He told me, read that, I read it, go home, read it again, I read it, go home, read it again, I read it, he goes, you're ready to trade. You're ready to open accounts. So uh, I'd say within four weeks, I was trying to talk my parents' friends into opening accounts and let me trade. Uh, and at 21, it was, it was literally hilarious. I, I enjoyed so much the interaction with all my customers. I really, really, I've always been, I think, a sociable person, so I enjoyed that so much. But we were making money and talking to them all the time, but then after a while I realized I could do so much better if I just trade for myself. And I started doing that for myself, uh, and I did really, really, really... So you were really, successful from the start? Pretty much. You know, I had, <laughs> I, had, I had two phenomenal learning periods where I lost everything. Like I had $10,000 and went down to zero. And then I made back like $20,000 and then went down to zero. Uh, and I remember... Are you just using these low numbers so we can understand? No, no, no. This is when you're 22 years of age and it's 1978 or nine. That's just, you know, a gargantuan amount of money. And I remember my father coming to me uh, on the third time uh, and said, you've got to get in something safe like real estate. Exactly. Uh, Lending. I said, no, I, I'm going to stick with this. Uh, and the rest is history. But I, I guess the point was, it was so funny. I, was, I guess by 1980, I was doing pretty well. And in 1980, I thought my father kept going, you've got to do something respectable. So I applied to Harvard Business School and uh, got in. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go up there and what is this place going to teach me? That I, I mean, I was already doing, I was probably making a couple of million bucks a year trading my own account, which was a fortune back then. And the weekend before I was supposed to go, I was loading up the U-Haul to drive to Boston and just said, ah, this is crazy. 
they're not going to teach me anything about this, and this may disappear. And so I never went uh, and continued trading. The one thing about trading for yourself, I got so lonely. I really did. I was doing real well, but I was so lonely. And back then, account exchange closed at 3. I'd go home at, I'd do all my charts and stuff, go home at 4.30, watch Star Trek, and that was kind of, that was kind of my life. It was not, uh, it, was, it was financially fulfilling, but it was uh, unfulfilling in every other, every other way. If you want to watch the full interview, the link to the video is in the description box down below. Now, what I found most fascinating about that clip is that obviously Paul Tudor Jones is one of the most successful traders in the world and one of the most well-known as well. I mean, he's a billionaire for God's sake. And yet people put him on this pedestal and expect that he's always had these abilities, but that's clearly not the case. Although he says in the clip that he's always been successful or he's always been good at it, whatever it is that he said, he also points out that on at least two or three occasions, he built up an account and then wiped it out to zero. Now, does that sound familiar to you? Because I know a lot of people go through that as well. But also he points out how lonely it is to live the life of a trader. And I think it's quite humbling to look at your own situation with your private trading and compared to someone like Paul Tudor Jones who built from that to becoming a billionaire and one of the most successful traders and seeing that there are probably quite a lot of similarities. So this week with your trading, don't look at your progress and think that it's really not going anywhere. Just remember that everyone starts from humble beginnings and all you have to do is persevere, learn from your mistakes and keep going, keep learning and you'll be just fine. So if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. If you want to know more about Paul Tudor Jones, we'll put a link on the screen to our video from the Legends of Trading series that's all about him. And I hope you have a successful week of trading. Take care guys, we'll see you soon.